quickly turned for India in just two nights ago at D.Y. Patel Stadium here in Navi, Mumbai. Yes, a clean sweep to Australia in the One Day International. This series and an opportunity this evening with a win to take out right here in Navi, Mumbai. Dreaming into this ground. Other evening, it sounded like about 60 absolution in the deep for Shafali Varma. For that uppish stroke. Protection on the onside. Megan shoot with the ball. Verma on stroke. Swing. Not a lot of bounce either. As that was just Smriti Mandana. That's where the slip comes in. At position in this Australian lineup. Back in the second over. And making things happen straight away. Pitching outside of impacted line. Wickets hitting. And of out. You're on screen now. You can signal out. Correct. It goes for one. India. It's in the air and through the field. A four first ball for Jimmy Rodriguez. That's the best something to be hit. It doesn't matter even if it's the first ball. Go for it. And that's exactly what uh, Rodriguez has done there. Reached out. Let the bat go. Because she was aware of the fact that the fielders were inside the circle. gap. Watch the ball till the last minute. Is just giving it direction. Finishes off the eye the boundary. She starts nicely with Rick. 17 for one. Indeed. She's got the second. She is on fire here. Kim Garth. The finger goes up. Rodriguez goes. Australia up and about. Rodriguez was looking to run it fine on the offside. One into getting a single doesn't work. This time it does work for Smriti Mandana. Pleasing sight. Good evening, Ron Gavaskar and Murlikar. Good evening, Anju. Excellent shot that. Smriti special. Timing was absolutely spot on. Massive save. Time did well with Smriti. She goes over. This is brilliant skill. She needs it. Uh, 22 or 23 now with that power. Sometimes there is self-inflicted pressure because you're trying to get a move on. You forget that you also need to take singles. And every now and then if you can get a release shot like this. It just eases your nerve, but wonderful shot. Great hands through the ball on the offside. Shots like these will help. But she finds the field. Well, it was a lot straighter from up here. And it's found the fielder. A third wicket to fall for India. The time did well. It's press with the... Down the leg side. Pat on it. Seeing a first ball. Um, Richard Ghosh. That's it. Just a one over to the leg spinner. And it's Ash Gardner. And she strikes immediately with the first ball of a new spell. And it is the skipper, Harman Preet. A sweep which went wrong and straight into the hands. Straight to the field route in the deep. And Gardner is delighted. She knows what Harman Preet is capable of. She is lucky to get away with this. This side, for the outside edge of the left hand. But this one just slides on, cramps up. Gas Mitch misses leg stump. Sahili hasn't put a foot wrong. Full toss, possibly. The only poor delivery you will see her ball. Finally swept for four. Gift, in fact, nicely tossed up and uh, straying in line as well was uh, Gardner. Pritti Sharma looking to play on the outside, even otherwise. This is uh, a real freebie. A big sweep. The power of Richard Ghosh on show. That's cleared. Everything comes. Seven overs have been over left. Kim Gar. And she's bringing her on now. Already got two for six. And resulted in a boundary. Hence, Ringard would have wanted to bowl after bringing all those changes. The deep point was in. So the skipper is not happy. Which have changed the pace quickly enough. Back foot and finds the gap. Nobody out in the deep on the offside. In front of Squire, except for long off, and uh, she made uh, good use of it. It was a change up from Garth, back of the hand, and then she was really trying. This is good stuff. Dipti Sharma realizing. Up in the batting order, she has the strokes to dominate and contrast that pressure back on polite inquiry. Lisa Healy feels good one. George aware, I'm just saying, probably going down leg side. Healy has been absolutely brilliant in taking those reviews right through the one day series. Even when the bowler wasn't convinced, she was. Does she take it? Yes, yeah, she does. Pitching in line, impact in line. There's us. So that's very close indeed. Wareham likes it. No, I think she's going to say to Elisa Healy this time, we want to go upstairs, and that's what Australia does. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. Puja goes for nine. It's away, and that is why. Yeah, top shot. You walk in, you key delivery like that, and you put it away. Anja would be thinking, and India would be thinking. That's to line, and they need to call it out. Phoebe Litchfield wanted to. Talia McGrath said, no, that is definitely mine. Picks up up and jot core. Yeah, one of the easier catches that Talia McGrath will take in her career. Completely deceived. 
Don't just go there. Yeah, there's a big... Sweep into space. Yeah, they need a flurry of these boundaries now. India, the last time in Derry, next one. The one she fancies, definitely a sweep. Is right up for Ali. And she come down the track. In reverse sweep. Team Chachi. Quality from Shreel Kapadu. Sets herself up nicely, very early on. Megan shoot. I love that, the Indian fan. Thanks, the stump. Good with the ball. They did create a great buzz in that first game. That the dew stays away as well. Because when the Australians bowled in that first game, it was too easy. Triyanka Pad looked very good as well before she held out to for every run. Make sure you take this 130 that India has put on the board till the last. With the ball. Tita Sadhu it was in the previous game. Elisa Hipkeeper. Driven. And that is absolutely glorious from Elisa Healy. Looking for some extra swing was uh, Tita Sadhu. Dot arm jab this time, slightly short of a length from Tita Sadhu. It's been put away very comfortably by the skipper, Elisa Healy. So 16 without loss after two, Australia. Oh, over pitched, and that's been put away through covers. This time it's the left hander, Beth Mooney. Idea was not to give any room at all to the left hander. In the third over, time it's off the pads, goes fine. And don't think anyone is stopping it. So runs coming thick and fast for Australia. Wide being signaled by the umpire. Uh, inside for Richard Ghosh, signal runs for the batter. How does such a quick change, Mel Jones, happen in the Australian dressing room? Oh, fine fielder gets the boundary, Alisa Healy. That time, by keeping her on strike as much as possible. Yet again, finding the gap. The minimalistic off the margins, but she's managed to finish the over with the boundary. 47 without loss. Bacon, excellent catch, and it's none other than Shriyanka Patil. Deepthi Sharma. Yeah, outstanding work from Shriyanka, just the way she ran in. Eyes are really trying to put pressure on the Indians even after the power play gets up, trying to get up the door of the back. This roster was running for Elisa Healy. Dismissed for 26. There's a chance, and Richard Gosh is all over it. Titi Sharma gets the second Australian wicket. Both openers are now gone. This the up here to jump in with a couple more. Titi Sharma has quick to score. And she bowled it wide enough. The left hand is uh, stepping out even before. Deepthi Sharma reached the ball increase and good work this from uh, Deepthi and uh, Richa Ghosh too. Not in a hurry to gather the ball. Keepers can't encroach the ball once the ball passes the stump. Success for uh, Deepthi Sharma. Australia 58 to 2. It's a short arm jab. No need to run for that unless you just want to get a little bit of blood pumping there for Elise Perry. Well, my international career was like this commentary stint, short and sweet. Oh. He feels Amanjo is too slow. She needs to make such a massive foot movement towards the back of the crease. Talia McGrath to get that extra room on the offside to get that boundary. Interesting about that shot was that she had to wait for it a long time and then use the wrist to very good effect generate the power too because there was a sweeper out there and she had to play fine enough to get a boundary power in that shot from talia migra yeah, so the last three balls she has uh, tried to do something similar in uh, women's t20 cricket top edge Glove is it, it's been given. Talia McGrath is walking on her own and this is one of the reasons why she comes round the way. Throws one side, it forces the batter to do something different on it. So once again, good bowling from uh, Sriyanka Patil in the form of Talia McGrath. Looking to play the reverse was Talia McGrath. She played it too soon. And uh, the ball deflects off the glove after she's played the shot. Simple chance to absolutely no hesitation uh, either in the mind. But Lovely timing. Need a better effort, India, because every run is going to count here. Hardly have anything to touch that. The conventional spinners do, but that's fine. Abuja Vastaka strikes. Shriyanka Patil and getting another one. She got in the seam ball, Apuja Vasrakar, 
to come in and hold at the Aussie batters with the relatively older ball. And Pooja Vasrakar gets the breakthrough. She's introduced late, but she's picked up a wicket. First over, Ashley Garner going for an expansive drive. Only manages to nick it to the keeper. And delight on Pooja Vasrakar's face. Gardner dismissed for seven. Australia 97. Looks to go big. Clears everything into the Australian dugout. I like about that shot is that the very first ball of a new spell, you know that the bowler is trying to hit the right. In the show, but they're not. Litchfield, brilliant. Elise Perry, is it all the way? It certainly is. We spoke about it for those sporting romantics. Elise Perry not out with the winning runs in her 300th match. Yeah, no, it doesn't. And it's also the fact it's the way she's elevated a game, a T20 game over the last year or so. Strike at a 162 in this innings.